I believe uh, there was a lecture on uh, the, the tranquil mind or how to have a calm mind today. It will be given by uh, Chuni Lozong Jimpa Rinpoche, who I think you've been introduced to through his bio here. Your interpreter today will be Lama Punso. Gandhi Charzi founded in the 1400s by Lama Jisankapa on a hillside at 16,000 feet, about a day away from Lhasa, by, by foot. At times, uh, Gandhi, in the two colleges, held over 8,000 monks. In our half, uh, there were 80 survivors that came to South India in the late 60s, began camping in the tents. They even uh, pulled the plows with their first crop of rice with their own shoulders. They couldn't even afford cattle. <coughs> Today, it's a city, a thriving city of over 5,000 monks in the two colleges. The general course of study is 25 years, six days a week, 5 a.m. to midnight. And this progresses through five major texts, the Six Perfections, text on Buddhist logic, text on emptiness. Now, emptiness doesn't mean nothingness. It's more like how things are fabricated on parts. Earlier, I was saying, well, where's Google? Are you Google? Is the computer Google? Is the table Google? Is the building Google? Where you can't find Google. There's many parts. Also, the I is fabricated on many parts. The me. And once we grasp, think the I is self-existent, then all these minds come like anger, hatred, desire, attachment, jealousy, etc. So this is a little, just a little overplay about emptiness. How it, it's about how fabric, phenomena are fabricated by the mind. These three classes also require six hours of Socratic <clears throat> debate every day for 15 years. And we heard today that you have a little dis debate session once a week at lunch. Now I thought this, this will keep this place fresh and alive. So I think this is wonderful that you're able to challenge the company, challenge the management. This is how it is in the monastery. You can challenge any text. You can challenge the Buddha. You can challenge any teacher at any time during these debate sessions. <laughs> Also, a lot of memorization takes place. All these five texts are memorized. The primary parts of them are memorized. After that, we study cosmology two to three years. Presently, quantum physics and physics. Quantum physics and Buddhism look almost exactly alike for some reason, about the generation of galactic systems, the particle-like structure phenomena. The Buddha also <coughs> taught about these things. It's very unusual. We also study our moral behavior, our precepts. There are 253 <coughs> precepts we take to protect our actions with living beings in the environment. Four you cannot break, killing, lying, stealing, and sexual misconduct. Those you're out if you break. We take any monk from any country, any race. There's no tuition. The schooling's free your whole life. Your clothes are free, your food is free, your room is free, your texts are free. And how we make this possible presently is by touring the planet. We usually have different tourists on different continents on the planet. Two meals a day are still tea and bread. This is a refugee camp we live in. But it's already transformed itself from tents into a huge university. One of the purposes of this tour is the new debate courtyard. It's a building nearly two acres inside. can hold 6,000 monks in debate. We had to have a construction film firm build it because we couldn't handle it ourselves. So we need to pay for this. So we're trying to raise funds to pay for our new debate courtyard. It has open walls. In fact, it's functioning right now. We also want to build a hospital. It's been finished. In fact, it was promised, somebody promised to fund it, but they had a problem on the Stark market or something happened to their money, and now they've put that on our shoulders on this tour also to pay for the hospital. We have a new 30-room hospital. <coughs> so if one receives a Geshe degree, and Rimche here is also a Geshe. A Geshe means the concentration of virtue. Then one studies Tantra at one of the tantric universities, Buddhist Tantra, for three to five years. As I always say, Buddhist Tantra is very, or any Tantra is very misunderstood in the West. It has nothing to do with the physical body and contact between the sexes. It has to do with the mind at the time of death, generating a new body, speech, and mind made a light that one could go life to life in. So that you usually don't hear about this. Sometimes you hear about Rinpoche's. That, when you hear the word Rinpoche, this means that one, this is precious. This is a being that already has the capabilities of going life to life, whenever they wish. We can take care of a monk for about a dollar a day. Uh, even the monastery gives us money every week to help with our necessities. They are also very wise. They have three restaurants and five stores in the monastery that they run where we spend all our money. 
So the moon is kind of making a big circle. <coughs> so I think I'll just uh, step back and I'll have the turn it over to Rimchi now. Thank you for inviting us. Here. Uh, first of all, it's, uh, it's uh, so nice to see you all in working such a big company. It's uh, like a kind of first visit and see so many people in one office. And I really, we really appreciate for inviting us here and giving us an opportunity to share what we practice, what we do in our daily life. So thank you, and we greet with a Tibetan greeting called Tashitalek, which means peace and prosperity, harmony, good health, a long life, uh, and hello, hi, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what I see here, uh, people are very fortunate because first of all, we consider being born into a human river is, is a fortunate because we don't have a problem in our faculties like we are capable. And at the same time that you are working in a global, like a, to, to benefit in the world, so that makes more special, so I really appreciate that whatever you're doing to promote the happiness of this whole world. Thank you. So uh, today's uh, topic is uh, on how to calm down our mind in this busy world, especially to uh, try to generate uh, more of peace and happiness or love and compassion inside. So, uh, people uh, to calming oneself. Uh, first of all, we have to know what are the, those things that bring distraction to us. We have to know first of all about this because without knowing those things, we cannot calm down our consciousness or to bring peace in mind. So, according to the, our philosophical way, is to like all the suffering, all the problem or challenges that we face is not from outside. Actually, outside won't do anything or not doing anything, but all the problems, the distractions, or problem or negativity, so this all come from inside. Actually, it is all from inside. And who is that? That's all start from me called I. When we have a strong grasping towards me, that means I or me or I want that, I don't want, I dislike it. So in order to, like when we have a strong grasping to a self, a supreme called ego or pride or jealousy. So the moment we have a strong grasping to a self called I, then anything that contradict that brings suffering. Anything that want to fulfill that brings suffering. So the major one is called the beginningless I called I, we call ignorance or grasping to a self as supreme. So that is the major key to bring depressions, problems, or distraction, all things, the distractions. Pena, <laughs> 
and so therefore like so in order to overcome those or grasping to a self like an ego or me or I we have to know that how that we are relating with the kindness of others like briefly is about our parents right now we are whatever we are in the position right now it is because of the kindness of one's own parents that's why we are here into these positions so every it starts from two drops actually two drops and then because of their love care then we are here so uh, and uh, like how that we perceive in a different way because how that it is all because of inside that we make a difference between the other environment is for example that though there are lots of examples but like a one small example is like a friend like a best friend like within one day that when you really like that person you it is your best friend then because of inside like you have a desire inside then you will see all the best quality from that person that you like the most you you will see the good qualities all the best quality from that person because you like it. And the same day, because of some misunderstanding or some problem, if you generate anger towards that person in the evening, then immediately this will change. The, 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 the perception will change. That means you won't find the same qualities from that person. Instead, you will get angry. Even you don't want to see that person. Like it brings a lot of distraction inside. Like you will be boiling inside. You may, you may think all the negative words. You may think all the uh, negative uh, things. Even your body, physical reaction may change absolutely. But the person that you see in the morning, the see in the evening, is the same person. But how we generate motivated work from inside, the, mo the moment it changes the motivation, you see, perceive a different object immediately. So that's how that the object is not the one, but from inside that how we perceive, whether it is motivated by desire, it looks different. If you're motivated by anger, it looks different. If you're motivated by, motivated by ignorance, it looks different. So it's not from outside, but absolutely from inside that changes the, the value of the, the object. So that means like if we really analyze carefully to bring peace or happiness or prosperity, it all comes from inside. That means one has to generate the good motivation, we call the warm heart, warm heart. Because once we generate the warm heart inside, then whatever we look at through, you will appreciate that. You will see the qualities from outside. But the moment we generate the negative motivation inside, negative, a lot of desire, attachment, hatred, then everything will make a difference. That means they will be always thinking about negative. Even one may try to do a good thing also because of jealousy, you may look differently. Even someone is trying to like, uh, like benefit or doing good things, it will perceive in a different way. And instead of uh, finding the good qualities from others, we will find all, all the negative qualities. And when we see those kind of differences, then it obviously distracts our emotion. 
and that brings the suffering towards oneself and creates suffering towards a problem towards others. So first of all, to, to generate peace within one side or others, we have to transform from within in to generate the good heart or the warm heart inside. So it's like sometimes when we don't analyze carefully, like for example, working in a computer. So because of mistyping or something, if, if it went wrong, one may like to express all the anger and you may blow it, everything, and hit the keyboard it's like very as strong as possible. Like you're so angry with the, the computer. But if you really analyze carefully, it is because of typing differently. It is inside, like you make a mistake, not the computer. Actually, the computer is responding whatever you created, you do it. So if you carefully, if you analyze, it's all inside. That means all the problem that we see through, all the distraction we see through, it is like we create ourselves, not from outside. So that's how that we have to transform inside. ตาบ่อเมกเนี่ยตะนี่ชุงจุกอะไรชังบุเจปังกะญาตะเนี่ยคลาเตตุเจเตตะเนี่ยโลชุกเจจุงเนี่ยบัดบัดเสือเจตะ
is you generate good heart. That means like if one son parent is alive, try to visit them, try to keep in touch with them and pay respect to them. And if you can serve them, try to feel this is the greatest opportunity to repay the kindness by serving them because this is the right way. And if one's own parents are living far away, even by keeping in touch with them, calling or writing, even this will also will make you feel better person. Even if one's own parents has already passed away, even try to include in your prayers, making a wish that I want to benefit, I want to repay the kindness towards one's and my parents. Even if you have a positive intention, even once some parents already passed away, even keeping in your positive motivation, it, it will help you to transform into a better person. It will generate a good heart inside. Like, uh, for example, like sometimes we are so, like, uh, our feeling is so strange, like, uh, for example, a strange person that we never saw before, we never met before, we never knew before. All of a sudden, a strange person, when they gave us a cup of tea, then one may like you to express all the best words. Oh, you're kind, you're nice, you're beautiful, he's very good, he's so kind to me. Just by giving a cup of tea, one may like to express all the formal word just by offering one cup of tea. But sometimes we forget to pay respect to our parents who has given us thousands of tea and thousands of things like that. But even we don't pay respect to them. So that means we should not be those kind of things. Because if a person, a strange person, who deserve all the formal word by just giving a cup of tea, of course one's own parents will deserve the most. And that's why, like, uh, like even from now onwards, like uh, after giving a cup of tea, when we, look, when we meet in future also, there will be some kind of gratitude, like you will feel like, oh, you will talk with them, you will speak nicely. So this is something that we should not forget about it and pay respect to our parents. <laughs> So after generating those uh, the, uh, towards one's own parents, then you can generate towards others, like for example, like company here, the Google company. Because each and every person within this company has its own individual responsibility to make it happen, this one. So that means one cannot say that I make it happen. Every person has its own individual responsibility <coughs> to bring success, harmony, prosperity. So that's how that like it is because of the kindness of each and every person within this company that brings this successful. So that's how that it brings like kindness, it brings respect towards each other to create this, to grow this company. So that's how that every beings within this whole company are kind and you respect with them. <laughs> So, because if there's only one person in the, the Google company, then it won't happen. That means one person cannot make it happen because it needs everything, the causes and condition, to make it happen, this. So each and every person in this whole company is kind to each other, so kind to me. So that's how that, the moment that when we begin to understand that we are surviving because of the kindness of everyone here, that I cannot, one person cannot make it happen. So that's why every being around is kind to me. And in order to repay the kindness, you really appreciate and we really talk and try to 
to bring harmony, respect. So that's how that we can uh, make it peace and prosperity. So this way, when you analyze everything, then you will begin to understand that I am surviving. It is because of the kindness of every beings in environment around me. That means like the food, clothes, the road, house, air, water, element, everything. It's because of the kindness of those things that I'm surviving. And if just knowing kindness is not enough to repay the kindness, then if you respect those things, if you respect everything, so it will bring you more inner peace. That means you will be concerned about everything around you and you will use economically. And you, even when you walk yourself in the office or house, you'll be peace in your mind. That means you'll be always like their kind and you'll be very relieved, like you'll feel peace and calmness. Whatever you do, whatever you do, wherever you are, it will give you peace inside. <laughs> So then followed by this uh, company, then you think about the other world, like uh, if there's no, then you can make a prayers or you think about to bring the prosperity and harmony within the whole world, like even making a wish to overcome the like a uh, violence or hatred or war, even making a wish to overcome the natural disaster of water or earth, like earthquake or fire or wind. So even when you have a positive thought to overcome those, even in including in your positive thought, this will give you like in, like inside value, the qualities inside. So that way, because if there's a lot of violence all around, even this company won't survive. So in order to promote that, like even if you have a positive intention inside, then obviously it will grow, it will make it happen to bring peace, prosperity, and to connect with the whole world with peace and happiness. So that's how to help us to generate the right motivation inside. <laughs> Uh, so uh, sometimes one may like to bring some uh, like a misconception or some difficulty or problem. Like for example, usually sometimes our mind will wander towards the wrong path. Like uh, for example, a bird, for example, like a big tree and bird is like on top of a tree and lots of fruits. And because the wind is blowing constantly, the, the, our, the daily life, the actions of our daily life is like flowing like, like a wind. And because of the wind blow constantly, the tree moves back and forth the, that the birds cannot eat the food like properly. So sometimes because of our evil mind, it's like a, one may think that, how about if I cut down the root of the tree so that I can eat without distraction? So sometimes like one may like to think that way also, like sometimes because of one's negative intention, like. Uh, to, to bring success to oneself, we don't care about others, and we'll, when it may like to end up with doing a lot of negative action. So this kind of thought may like to mislead oneself or bring a lot of distraction. So we should not, one should not generate those kind of like a selfish, uh, like a 
achievements. Like this make we like to create a lot of distraction towards oneself and others. Then I don't buy a sample or like you don't have some some budget care. Then I like the hood I chair show as an uh leg one lay pant over, make a pant over, so so lay pant over, then I so do give you a chance, some lay up with this. So therefore like uh early morning when you wake up, if you try to try to sit down and try to motivate like how to make this my day beautiful, generating good heart, I will try to respect the whole environment and every being around me. And if you take try to generate those intentions and even if you come to work also, you'll f feel the energy, you will always have a lightness, you will talk nicely with your friends, you will try to go politely and respect. So it will make your day beautiful and it will make this successful also. So that's how that if you can do generate those intentions like every morning before you come to the like office or like even your daily life, this will make your day more meaningful and beautiful. So that's why, like, if you think that way in how the every beings and environments are kind, and if you generate a good motivation from inside, then it will bring happiness towards oneself or the success, and also it will create happiness towards the whole environment. So that's why we call, like, once you have a good heart, a noble heart, your path and your uh, like uh, the work will be successful. Like it will make your life meaningful. So that's why, like, <coughs> my final word is to uh, <coughs> repay the kindness towards one's own parents because of the kindness of parents that we are into this position right now. So that's why they deserve to repay the kindness. So if one's of parents is still alive, <clears throat> take this opportunity to repay the kindness. Because like uh, when the parents grow older, they have a different view because like if you don't see them, then they have some kind of feelings that as if that they are like a neglected from the society, as if that they are different world, like I said, so it brings a lot of sadness to us, them too. And also, like, when we try to disconnect from those, it brings that we don't have a hum human value inside, the humanity inside. So that's why to bring this uh, new humanity, the respect and repaying the kindness to us once on parents is the beginning. So that they will be happy and your life will be happy. Because it comes with the cycle of aging because one will take time one day. And of course, we too want someone to take care. So that's how that if one's own parents is to way far away, keeping in touch with them, also a good way. Even one's own parents already passed away, making a wish and prayers also is a proper way to generate good intentions. So then try to harmonize within the, the company and office. So this is my uh, the final word to us you all. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay. <laughs>
in the middle. Does that take away from the juice of life itself? Does that take away sort of from the ups and downs? And is there value in the ups and downs? เออเมกังกะเลยเคยยังบ่ใช่เอามาเลยใครจะจูชุบชาดิใครจะจูบชาดิใครเสียเงี้ยดิงไล่ติดิใครตีกะเลยตะนาซุซุกิจะวะยัง
sometimes this brings a lot of more pain and suffering and emotional distraction because of the lack of misunderstanding or lack of uh, the understanding about the law of cause and effect or karmic actions. Yes. <clears throat> so there may be more enthusiasm, more opportunity for challenges, but if you want to be like, maybe you want to be Paris Hilton, maybe big problem coming, okay? Do you follow me? <laughs> you want to, have, want to have big eye, <clears throat> and maybe big problem coming, okay? Okay. So um, the, the thing that gave me the most sense of appreciation and reverence for my parents was having children of my own and realizing just what they must have gone through when I was young. And now, sort of, as my comeuppance, uh, my greatest source of, I'll say, non-tranquility is my own two children, <laughs> uh, who don't quite have this appreciation and reverence for their parents yet. Uh, I was wondering if you had any suggestions or guidance for how to become accepting of our children being, gosh, children, <laughs> and, and not, uh, not these uh, fully, fully rational, appreciative uh, beings that we hope they will grow to be. <clears throat> So the Papa Ameg Tony, Papa Amet Tony Tapshi Kari, Chidu and Nagi, Gilayam Chiki, Mana Mother Jiggy, Tapshi Jules, and Sanguetan Chikuris. Then it touches it that Tamarajigi, then San Chitu Madonna, then the Susu Sayomas. Then the Susu Percate, so to do. Pugun Dolaya, Susu Papa Amig Jolom Yabuchikuris. Pugun Dolaya, then a canon Damanda Larato, then the Pugun Dolaya, then a Susu Papa Amegi, Chanton, Araton, Chinet of Jena, Pugue Takachadome. Papa Ame Shinzo Yabuchina, Pugu de Shinzo Yabuchani. Papa Amago Sota and the Yabachana in it. Manga Jibabe Amalia, then a better exist. Papa Amegi Java Yabuti, Puguti, Pugu in the Yer San Tonte, then a Papa Ame Java Yabuchi. Baba Amig, Jerome Tony, the kind of Mambo Lavel, Baba Amig, Jerome Tony. Yeah, it is a, a challenging. The best way to help one's own children for the younger generation is to express from one side the qualities that is good heart, good character, and then spend more time with them. So, this way, and like from one's own side, you do your best to bring their bright future and you do every angle through spiritual means or the, in this uh, the daily life. So try to show the true example from your side to be uh, good parents. So these are the things that they, they are, the younger generation, are the, like the reflections from the mirror. So you'll be the mirrors. So whatever you try to reflect, they will copy that. So this way that by showing every best from your, like saying nice word, teaching about the ethic, the morale bow, what is good, what is bad, what is negative, what is positive, what is the, like a generating good heart means. So if you constantly, just not just saying, but you apply that, and if you express that way, also one of the great benefit for the, for the children, because they can really see that and feel that from your own, the, practice and like from my own per point of view my own personal because I have visited like more than 70 cities in the United States what I feel uh, about the younger generation is actually <coughs> the parents has to take the responsibility because from the very young age the moment they are grown up or born like parents are like try to train them to be more desired training because try to give every best toys and clothes and so many stuff. It is like even they don't know what to say or talk or see, parents are trying to train them how to be more desired, giving everything. And when they have too much everything, things doesn't appreciate. And if they, because the, when the desire grows stronger, 
the nature of desire is never satisfying. That means it's like you're adding more fire, fuel in the fire. It will only grow. So one is training that, giving everything. And if they get it, desire will grow more and more. If they don't get it, the anger will arise because one that, if you don't get it, anger. So to balance that, even from the very young age, teach about the contentment. Teach about the contentment. Of course, good food, good shelter, good clothes, give them. But don't give too much because even you might be having a difficulty to wear which clothes in the morning. So that makes even the distraction just in the mind, even in daily wise also. Of course, you are training that way from the younger age. Of course, this problem will face that. So this is something that if you can help them to be contented, even showing them to appreciate whatever one has, because like you can always show people in somewhere where there's no clothes, no food, no shelter. Even if you feel, let them feel that, they will really appreciate and make their life meaningful. So this is something that I saw in, in this modern world. So I might be wrong. <laughs> is it, I understand it's always more enjoyable to have inner peace, but are there times where we should not feel peace about things? For instance, we see war and we see suffering. Should we not feel peace about that? Or, or how should we feel peace about those things? <laughs> Some to like when like, so many things are happening in this world. So this is like to start from our side as a beginners, inspiring oneself, like even making a wish to overcome those natural, like a violence, a war. And once you have generated those intentions stronger and stronger, then you will have an ability, like you can actively make it happen to stop that. It means you are generating the energy inside by making more wishes. And when you have a, such an intention, strong wish, you generate more and more, then you'll generate that energy and it will make it happen. That means first you inspire that to not to happen. And once you gain an energy, you actively engage into an action to stop that. So this is how that, of course, like uh, having war is not a good sign, but doesn't mean that we have to step back and just blaming and like, oh, they're not doing. And by moment when we complain those, means we are participating into that. We are participating. So that means if we see those things, feel bad about it, and try to make a prayers and send them those, that means we are trying to promote that, to overcome those. So that's how that, like, we do in our prayers. Look at the Tibetan people, 50 years waiting for the return of their country, not fighting back. So they're practicing patience, they're practicing compassion. So this way, slow, but long-term very good. But if we react in, in the opposite way with anger, then we get a, uh, like a problem in the Middle East, where people take turns striking back each day. Then there's no solution. Yes? Uh, over the last 18 months of your travels, I'm sure you've been asked a lot of different questions from a variety of people. So I was just curious, you know, what are the things that you ponder the most or the one question that you keep in mind? I think that I'm not so sure. I'm not 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 Dandan, she did 
Actually, the most question that we receive from others in the United States is how to bring peace and happiness and how to overcome the, these problems. This is the, the major question that wherever we visit, the people ask, even the youngest boy also. So, like, and uh, how we respond about or to general peace is like every now and then, every instant moment for once on time, that if you have a fully, full intention, even including in your prayers, even by promoting, like saying the words and expressing them to, to be a good heart, to generate good heart within inside and try to to feel the kindness of every living beings and environment. So in order to repay the kindness, as we call the repaying the kindness is to wishing every beings to be happy, wishing every beings and environment to overcome from the suffering. So this is something that we instant, like every time that we include in our prayers. So this is how that we try to promote this. I guess my question, uh, and that's a very interesting thing to understand, but. Um, I'm sort of curious, what do the four of you question? Ah. You know, what, what is the one question that you think about the most? Rather than what do you ask the most? Uh, 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 to us, the audience, you mean? No, I mean, um, when, when you sit and meditate, what, yeah. what, what is the question, or is there a question? What do we ponder, ponder for ourselves? What do we think about ourselves the most? What's our, what are our biggest problems, maybe? How about that? <laughs> ngazo so, Actually, like for us, it's like, a, you know, like, like a, the patience is the key to to apply in our daily lives. So, whatever though we face problem, because we are same human being, maybe we have more time to apply. Uh, practice. So patience is the things that we try to practice because we face a lot of difficulty because see we are on the road for more than 17 months and then like every new town for about a week then we drive to other places. So lots of effort, we have to use a lot of energy and if we don't have those patience inside we cannot make it. We cannot make it non-stop. So that's why even like, even people when they have some kind of like a difficulty, impatience, so we try to express that, like we have so many d better way to overcome that. So best way is to practice patience. So this is something that even we uh, practice. No, 17 months, no argument, okay? Not one. <laughs> I bet we can put eight of you people in the car, maybe lasting two hours, okay? <laughs> 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 hey, you had a question? Did you have a question earlier? Yes? No? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So thank we you. have